today we're gonna cook gnocchi alla sorrentina we have a special guest in this uh this moment of covid 19 i understand everybody's locked down is feeling like being in a jail i really love to be with people man but well i had to figure out something so i have uh, andrea ramolo that she's joining us uh, today cooking this recipe i'm sure that you know andrea she's uh the vintage italian on instagram if you don't go and follow her uh, but we have a lot of fun, so watch this video now. Allora, benvenuti nella mia cucina con chef Luciano Schipano da Toronto a Toronto. Che abbiamo Andrea. Ciao Andrea! Ciao Luc, come stai, bello? Bene, bene, thank you so much for joining me and I am so excited to cook with you today. I'm so excited for you to teach me how to make the perfect gnocchi because, you know, mine are, are never perfect, they're never like nonnas, so... I'm gonna make you a master chef today on gnocchi. Woo! I can't wait, grazie. Okay, and actually, you know what, because you're the vintage Italian, I have here something that is very vintage. Wow, come so, si chiama? This is called the Crivo in uh, my Calabrese and, uh, and actually was, uh, you know, originally how you shape your gnocchi. Wow, that's incredible. Is Before that from this. a basket? Like, yeah. come un cestino? This is a basket, exactly, right? That you can put everything. And I remember actually my nonna having one is higher and put it on, on the head and going and walking yeah. with this. Ho <laughs> visto tante foto così. Oh my God, the balance and the strength of those yeah. women, Luch. Um, you know what, Luch, I have this, the Riga Gnocchi board that I bought. It's just a little tiny one. Oh, you have yours too. I have that too. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's more therapeutic to make gnocchi this way, I find. Like the fork is really the rustic old style way. But yeah. for me, I have nimble fingers and I, I struggle with using my hands for fine motor skills. So this will be uh -huh. helpful. That's fantastic. So for making gnocchi, we have just to give a little bit of an introduction, okay? Gnocchi is just made with potatoes. And usually in Italy, we need old potatoes. So when potatoes are like mushy, they start having like the little jam. So that is the good potatoes. There is the idea of adding eggs to the uh, gnocchi, we do not eggs. So I like this method because it's vegan and a lot of my friends are vegan, but why do you not use egg in your recipe? Because it's, a, it's a, it, the original recipe that is no egg. Okay, f for two reasons too. If you add egg, you add moist. In adding moist, so you add liquid, you need more flour. And because you add more flour, the gnocchi that start coming more chewy, or they stick, you know, when you eat, you don't enjoy. But without egg and with a little bit of flour just to bind the dough, the gnocchi will come perfect, tender and fluffy, and it's gonna melt in your mouth. Okay, I can't wait. This is exciting. Yep, just for okay. convenience, we cooked our potatoes. And so, what are we gonna do? We're gonna peel our potatoes. Piano piano. Io di solito, if you can do when they are hot, it's better because they peel easier. Allora, io ho già fatto quello. Oh, tu sei veloce. I did, I did it when they were hot. I actually, with the with the skin, because it's hot, I mean, it's, it's hot to the touch, but I just peel it with my fingers. It comes off so easily when it's very hot. But tell me, Luch, so is it better and meglio caldo? Like if these remain hot or because mine is a little bit cooled down at this point? Well, I don't, I'd say warm or anyways, a room temperature. That's uh, the key is a room temperature. Because io dico sempre, our grandmothers, they never had like refrigerators. They, they would always have this room temperature. That was the, uh, the, the measurement. And la cantina, you know? And then they have a cantina where they have the storage. It's amazing at my nonna's house, uh... My bees non, uh, she died a, a handful of years back, but in their house, it's just along a cliffside because they're up uh, on nella montagna, right? So la montagna, and they have like four different cantinas, like four different levels below the three levels of this tiny little house. So it's it's so small in, in size this way, width-wise, but you can go down and down and there's all their farming equipment and all the jugs of wine and all of these like sort of cestini, like the ba old fashioned baskets and the, uh, the old farm keys. I actually I took so many farm keys from our uh, from our homes in Italy 
I just, I love it. It's like exploring another world, you know? Uh, which part of Italy are you from again? So both of my parents were born in a tiny little town called Limosano, nella provincia di Campobasso, so in the region of Molise. It's a little medieval village on a hilltop. It was built around a, a Lombard castle. So it's very majestic, especially when you see it from far away. The views are, are spectacular. It's so romantic and I really, I mean, it's the, my most magical place that I get to visit. Allora, io il mio passa tutto. Uh, no, I'm not sure how you want to mash your potato, but let's mash the potatoes. Mamma mia, I need a better, uh, come si chiama questa cosa? Uh, you need a forza. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut mine into pezzettini because it's going to make it easier. Qual è il tuo cantante preferito, Andrea? <laughs> Io amo Rino Gaetano. A amo anche Lucio Battisti. Amo Nada. Okay, this is working here. Mamma mia. Come on. This is where we get our That's a good workout Facciamo for gymnastica. Exactly. This is like... Nonnas didn't really have many machines, so I'm trying to, I'm trying to, you know, be one with my grandmothers. I don't know. It's really hard here. So, quello che facciamo oggi stiamo preparando gli gnocchi alla Sorrentina, che non sono né molisani e né calabresi. So we're making. <laughs> But it's, it's great how gnocchi alla Sorrentina so are an international dish and well represent the southern of Italy cuisine but is internationally recognized because they represent Italy in all the ingredients. So think about the gnocchi, tomato sauce, basil and mozzarella. So these four ingredients that we rep represent that we'll call Okay, for our flag in our cuisines, in our families, the way how we're raised. So, cosa succede? How is made that? Just to give an, a wrap up while you finish that. So, we are going to make the gnocchi. We boil gnocchi, and after we boil, so we actually while the gnocchi, the water for gnocchi is boiling. We're gonna make a very simple tomato sauce. So, just olive oil. We put the, the plum tomatoes. Uh, gnocchi are ready, we toss in the tomato sauce, we put in a ramekin or in a tray, we top with a fresh mozzarella and basil and we bake for 20 minutes or until the mozzarella is nice and melted, crusty, golden brown on top and it's a fantastic dish. Okay, so I'm already over here, my uh, potatoes are ready to go. So, basically I give this type of recipe. So. For one kilo mashed potato, I have a 300 grams flour. So it's like one part of flour and three parts potatoes. So roughly here we have maybe 400, 500 grams potatoes. So I recommend with a one cup, nice cup of flour. Okay, so I'm gonna use just a little bit less than a cup because I use three medium potatoes. Is that okay? Okay, I think you're good. And we start mixing the ingredients together. You want to add the pinch of salt, you can even add the pinch of salt. Absolutely. Ready? Poi gnocchi, you don't have to work so long because you don't want to develop gluten in, uh, in, your, uh, in your flour. So that's why if you develop gluten, they're going to be hard to eat. Now, the dough has to rest for five minutes or so. Okay, and we don't, we don't wrap this dough. You don't need this to wrap it. This is not like it. our regular no. pasta. You don't need to wrap it. In this way, the flour absorbs a little bit of the moist, so in the, if he develops gluten, he's going to just rust and be okay. more tender. So maybe we can move on the stove, and we okay. are going to put a pot with water for the gnocchi, to boil gnocchi after, a small pan. Now we're going to add oil. Okay. What do we do is we fry the garlic just to flavor the, the oil. And then 
we take the garlic out to the pan. So you say that you have some uh, fresh basil and I ran out of my fresh basil. So what I'm gonna use to basil to give the flavor is some uh, basil pesto. So uh, it's the same <laughs> idea, but I wanna just, you know, whoever then is gonna watch us can get an idea. Oh, I don't have fresh basil, but guys, you may have just some fresh uh, basil pesto in a jar in your refrigerator or in your pantry and that's it there you are but summertime you must have a basil that's very important are you cooking the garlic okay so I can smell it the oil is nice and warm now and it smells aromatic and garlicky like I like it I smell your garlic do you smell my garlic from here oh yes I, I can smell everybody's garlic <laughs> That smells good. Okay. Okay, Io, now I'm gonna just salt, so a pinch of salt or two. The sauce has to simmer, so we, we just slow it down the fire. The pot with the water is ready there, so it's getting ready to boil. We can start making our gnocchi. Che si mangiare la zitta, che si mangiare la zitta, che si mangiare la zitta la prima sera. Cinque chili di... I don't even know what she eats. Hey, I'm starting dancing it, it, it now. Like she eats everything in that song, that, bo that bride. People I like say sometimes gnocchi. I make gnocchi and they're really big and they're like... You I like know, my chef gnocchi me, to be big. Gnocchi. Let me see. Like my, my thumb. As big as your thumb. Okay, well, mine's probably a little too thin, but we're going to start. Shorter, start. okay? I like my, my gnocchi thick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, look at these cute little potato pillows, huh? Beautiful, yes. Okay, I'm ready. Bene. Here's my, allora. Here's my gnocchi. Now, I just want to, we are going to use this, but before I want to show you if people don't have this, how they can use a, gr a cheese grater. Okay? So get one and then they can choose which part they want to go. See? That's it. Let me try this. Let's back the... Whoa, oh, okay, good. It has like the little balls on it. Yes, that different shape, yeah. but still it works, right? <laughs> Vediamo chi finisce prima. Let's see who finished first. Well, it's not even a competition. You're probably gonna be done an hour before. Oh my me. god. Oh, but it feels so. I just love. <laughs> Look at these beautiful little gnocchi. And it's important, uh, Luch, right? To keep that little groove of your thumb. Yes, so that that's the sauce why gets with the thumb, there. you go actually too deep in the middle because yeah. you want to make uh, the little hole. You know, that concavity is because the sauce is going to sit inside that and it's going to just be be beautiful combination oh, in pairing, right? The gnocchi with the sauce. You know what, Luch, actually, my dream would be to try and learn one super important regional recipe per region, like of all of Italy, and really explore the diversity because, I mean, we talked about this, me and you, when we were together, that it's like Italy, language-wise, uh, architecture, art, everything, culture-wise, um, you know, it's the landscape is different, but then the cuisine is also very different because if you're from near the sea, of course, your um, what's going to be growing there, what's going to be in season and fresh is going to be different, right? Than if you're from on top of a, a mountain where the temperature is roughly colder and uh, things are not as moist, right? And so, of course, also different areas were influenced, like the north is influenced by the northern Europeans, whereas where I'm from, you know, we have a lot of um, Albanian and Greek influence, you know, we're, we're closer to that. I mean, you're you're close to to me as well, so we would probably have similar, I would say, usages of ingredients and of, you know, the way that we do things anyways, la maniera, no? Well, Andrea, this is actually a very interesting topic and I like to go deep on this. Why not asking the followers and uh, the viewers 
to just leave a comment down here if you wanted to see more of these videos. We are here to please and make that happen. So let us know where would you like to learn what region, what region you come from or you are from or what regional recipe you want to, uh, to make it. All right, I mean, like, they're definitely, they're definitely handmade. They're definitely rustic. Some are bigger than the others. That's okay. Know. Good. It's, it's like human beings. We're all unique, right? My, my water is boiling. Okay, mine too. Luch, I have my gnocchi. Yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Mamma mia, are we ready? This is gonna take like five seconds. So now we're just waiting for the little gnocchi to float right up to the top. Yes. And we transfer it to the salsa. We toss together and then we put them in a uh, ceramic or ramekin, whatever tray that you have. I have this little, little ramekin here, ceramic pan. That's cute. I'm going to use this one. Okay. Yeah, love it. Love it. <laughs> So without eggs, so that's your first time making them without eggs. This is honestly my first time ever. And I'm gonna say that I have a vegan brother. Uh-huh. Uh, and his girlfriend is also vegetarian, so she tries to stay away from stuff too. So I've made like handmade fettuccine without eggs or spaghetti, but I've never made gnocchi without eggs. So it's a trial and error. They look good. I'm gonna see how they taste after we pull them out of the oven, okay? Yeah. My gnocchi are ready, so I'm taking them out. And I have to use pesto because uh, I don't have a fresh basil, as I told you. Place your gnocchi in, the, in your baking pan. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just put them inside here. Oh, this is good. Guarda, guarda. And now you get the mozzarella. And you do a nice cut of mozzarella on top. Are, you're just like kind of just little little pezzettini, no? Yeah. I'm ready for the oven. Yeah, beautiful. Let's go bake it. Well, I think it takes from 10 to 15 minutes until mozzarella is melt. Okay, I'm just gonna put what, 13 minutes now and we'll check it. Okay. So, Luch, since you are, have been so kind to, you know, teach me the ways of gnocchi alla Sorrentina, I'm going to play a song from the region, which you know very well. I'm gonna try my best to play it because I haven't played it in a while, so I have my little sheet here. But you can sing along because I know you know I it. I will. Rose, rose per te Ho comprato stasera E il tuo cuore lo sa Cosa voglia da te D'amore non si muore E non mi so spiegare Perché muoio per te Da quanto ti ho lasciato sarà perché ho sbagliato, ma io vivo di te. Da ormai non c'è più strada che non mi porti indietro, amore sai perché nel cuore del mio cuore non ho altro che te. Forse in amore le rose non si usano più Ma questi fiori sapranno parlati di me Everybody, here we go! Rose, rose per te Ho 
comprato stasera e il tuo cuore lo sa cosa voglio da te Should we take an instrumental break and Big check round the of applause. gnocchi? The Vintage Italian, Andrea Ramolo. Oh my goodness, are we ready, people? This is incredible. Oh my gosh, look at that. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Like, who does not want to come over for dinner tonight? You would be silly if you didn't want to come and eat this. I have a fork, so I want to just see how that comes out. So, are you ready? Okay, so we get a fork. This is the this is the exciting taste test of it. Let me see. Oh wow! Okay, here we go. Let's there see. you are. Look. Let me see. <laughs> oh my God, Luke! That looks incredible. Uh, this something that ah, beautiful. Ooh, it's wow. a, a taste of Campania, of Napoli, in your kitchen. From my kitchen, from Andrea kitchen, to your devices in your kitchens as well. Mm. Buon appetito. Ah. Mm. Mm. Uh, I want to thank you for teaching me how to do this, and I've never made the the gnocchi alla Sorrentina before, so now I'm going to start making it all because of you. Grazie mille. Oh, grazie a te. And uh, thanks, uh, thanks, first of all, for joining me today, but thank, we want to thank you all the viewers for stopping by and, uh, you know, stay with us. Come back. We have more coming up. Don't forget, thumbs up, subscribe, leave your comment. Let us know where you like it, where you haven't, what you want to see next and more. Follow Luciano, everybody. Grazie mille. Let's do one more chin chin. Yes, salute. salute. Nice to see you. I hope we get to share a real meal in the same room one day very soon. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs>